to all my Canadian viewers and subscribers for all those who are living outside of Canada today is a holiday for us here and it's Canada Day so I just wanna wish you guys a beautiful beautiful day it's sunny outside and today because it's such a nice weather and it's about red and white Canada Day I'm gonna be making some icicle back home style Diana style um, some of you might know it as freezies but I will make it with a very very nice twist and I'm gonna show you guys what that is so guys for the icicle or the freezy that we're making today I'm gonna use tamarind and tamarind is um, for all my Guyanese friends who know tamarind it is known to be something like it grows wild sometimes people have them in their yard and we use them for back home we you it was specially used to make tambourine ball and that's um it's like a snack we make in guyana with um with some sugar the tamarind was peeled out and shelled out and rolled in some sugar and garlic and pepper and all that so that's one um one snack that all my Guyanese friends will know of and sometimes we use it to make tamarind sour. I remember um, tamarind sour, is that what it's called? I can't remember. No, tamarind syrup. I remember when we used to go to school, we used to buy it, tamarind syrup. They used to boil the tamarind with sugar and I guess some um, a little bit of pepper and some salt and garlic maybe but it used to taste so good so tamarind is a it's known as a fruit and it's known to be very very good for uh cleansing of the liver so we used to eat this back when we had a tree in our yard and i used to eat the green one it was very very sour oh my god guys we have there is some sweet ones and they are some very very sour ones and these are sour ones and Guyana is known to have the sour one I know the sweet ones come from the the Asian country but um I remember we used to pick this and eat it with salt and pepper and it was so sour but it was something that you you would are growing up you would like to eat so I didn't know back then that tamarind was so good to cleanse the liver. But now as I grow older, I learned that it's a very, very good liver cleanser. And you can use tamarind in so many things, guys, such as um, cooking in uh, seafood. I know it's very good in, um, in cooking. People add it to different seafood. And it's good for sauce. I know it's very good. There's a tamarind sauce that you can eat with... Um, samosas and it's actually very very delicious and tamarind can make drink and it can make so many many different things but guys if you see it and you don't know what it is like for those who don't know it you can actually use it for so many things and it have very very good health benefits so today i'm gonna make my freezy or my icicle tamarind flavor so i'm gonna walk you guys through the step and I'll show you guys exactly how we make this. My kids, I had bought a whole bunch, like a, a lot more than this. But the girls love to eat this, like just grab one, peel it and eat it. I don't even know if they eat it with salt or anything. But Natalie, how did you eat yours? Just eat like that? Just like yeah. mm -hmm. that. And guys, when you eat it just like that, it's a, like really, really sour for your mouth. So, um... They like it, but I barely get this much to make my icicle, and that's because I really bought it to make icicle, but I couldn't find icicle bags or freezy. And icicle make, if you're making icicle and you don't put it in the bag, to me it's not real icicle. So I wanted to get it in the bags, and I, my husband is the one who goes to the store, and he's been checking all over for all the stores that he went to for these icicle bags, but we can't find it in Canada. So guys, I guess the next time I go to Guyana, I'm gonna have to bring some with me. But my husband is a very, very creative person and he offered to make these for me. So guys, I'm gonna show you guys how my husband is making this. And I'm really, really appreciate it because 
I really want to make this recipe for my program and with all the bags, I didn't think it would be the same. So I'll show you guys how he's making it. My husband is doing old school style. He took a candle and he, he's cutting, Jessica show, um, a Ziploc, a Ziploc bag. Um, we actually had one that has the freezer hole, like breathing holes in the bags and he already did one and when we try because you have to pour water in every single one to make sure that they don't have hole and then it didn't work so he had to go out and buy these ones that doesn't have hole but I thank my husband so much for doing that and then guys I'm gonna show you so he he is cutting them into the um the freezy the freezy shape like the long shape that we had from back home, like he's cutting it like down here and then he have to seal it with the candle and I'll show you guys just now because he's trying out the water for every one that he does to make sure that there's no hole. So just if you can show them. So what he's doing here, he is actually putting the edges to the candle and it's burning the edge and making it sealed. We don't have a sealer but this is very time consuming because some at the edge of the bags you only have to do one side but when you reach in the middle you have to do both sides and then he have to fold water in every one of them to make sure that they're not leaking so guys when they're done it looks like this if you guys remember <coughs> they, yeah it looks like this along just show it here it looks like this it's, it can't show i have to put rest it on something and to hold it right here i'm gonna rest it on something what it look like this is what it looks like and you guys will remember when you see it so now what I have to do after I finish making my um, tamarind flavor um, liquid I'm gonna pour them into here and then we will tie the top and freeze it so guys this is actually everything is making from scratch so this is um, very for the bags is very time consuming but I really really want to make this icicle because it's something that reminds me of back home and I want to share it with you guys and you will all have great memories looking back what when you remember these. So I'm going to show you guys what we do next. I have about four cups of water and that's a measuring cup of water on the stove and I have about half a cup of the tamarind and this is with the seed and everything because I'm going to boil it and the the flavor is going to infuse in the water but we're not using the seed i can actually peel some off the seed and then and then put them in just like that but um but i think yeah i can actually peel it and this is how the seed look like so if you if if you can do it then it's gonna help the flavor to infuse better Maybe that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna put it into this water to boil and all the flavor of the tamarind is gonna infuse in there. And then I'm gonna add um, some sugar to make it sweet. But guys, one, I'll show you guys the whole process and then I'll add some coloring. And we're gonna in for a very nice icicle or freezy treat. So guys, it's boiling up here and it's the flavor is releasing because I can see the water color change to a different color. Is getting brown at this point what I want to do I want to add some um, brown sugar and I'm adding half a cup I have four cups of water in there and I'm ha adding half a cup of sugar because we want to make it nice and sweet for the icicle or the freezing and it's gonna the sugar is gonna boil in nicely with the flavor that it's releasing and it's gonna be um, very tasty so I'm with the sugar in here I'm going to let it go for a little bit more. So, so far I only had it on like for five minutes and we did, I went ahead with my daughter and I took, me and Natalie took the seeds out. So it's only the, the uh, meat of the fruit now I have in here. So it's nice and soft. And what I'm going to do to get more flavor out of it, I'll, when, after I finish cooking it, I'm going to blend it up. So all this pulp can get really really mix in very well into the liquid and then i will strain it and that would have every single nutrient and guys this is a super super way because tamarind is so sour and if your kids are not used to it or if your family is not used to it you can make a drink out of it or you because when i make freezy and this is nice and cold 
they're gonna love it and it's doing a good for them it's actually gonna cleanse their liver as well so i will show you guys the next step and once we finish we'll come back and show you guys guys it's boiling up nicely and i think the flavor is well infused here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna taste it i'm lowering down my stove and i just want to taste it for flavor um you guys can always if you don't want to put that much sugar or you want to put more taste it guys and do it to your likings um i'm just putting this amount and i'll taste it and see if i have to add more no i like that i can taste the tamarind flavor and i'm not gonna put more sugar than that so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna blend this up and i'll do uh, i'm gonna let it cool down a little and blend it up so i can get all the tamarind flavor to infuse properly and then i would probably maybe i'm gonna do two different colors what do you think jess mm -hmm. what's one color that you want us to do hmm, i don't know yet probably red yeah that would be a good one today's canada day so we'll do a red and maybe a green or yellow let's go with green green okay yeah. so we'll do i'm gonna cool this off a little we're gonna blend it up i'll show you guys the whole process guys so i remember back home i used to have all these different um icicle or freezy flavor i think what people did mostly they used to use kool-aid but guys i don't um I don't use Kool-Aid in my house, so I like to make it with fruit flavor because they're getting nutrients as well as they're enjoying something beautiful. So you can do it with tamarind, any fruit of your choice you can make it with, or you can go ahead and use the um, Kool-Aid if it's quicker, if you have a bigger crowd, I think Kool-Aid would be the fastest thing, or you can probably put some um, pop if you drink pop or some soda whatever it is but fruit flavor when it's cold and it's frozen it tastes so yummy so let me cool this down and then we'll come back and show you guys the next step okay guys so after a long long hard task from my husband he managed out of two big ziplock bags to get um nine of these freezy bags for us he was uh, putting in water then he was finding holes and he had to redo so many times I feel bad for him but the things we do for our kids right so we managed to get nine of them out of two one was really really bad so we couldn't use it it would have we would have gotten ten five from each but um that's that that would be good enough for us and here is the tamarind um thing that I bought the liquid which were is like a drink and I add the sugar into it it's nice and brown because tamarind is brown so what I'm gonna do to get all the extra flavor I'm gonna put it into my blender and I'm gonna blend oops I'm wasting I'm gonna blend it up so we can um have all the all the good stuff and we're not throwing it out but look at how brown the water is because the tamarind is brown and I'm using brown sugar so guys, that's why it looks like that. But what I'm gonna do, I wanna get some of the pulp and I'm gonna add it into here. And this is gonna get a good, good, rich concentrate. And I'm gonna strain it after. And like I mentioned earlier, Natalie helped me to take the seeds out. So there is no seed in there. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna blend this, and then as I blend, I'm gonna put it into this measuring cup, and it's gonna, I'm gonna use two different color to make two different color of icicle. I'm gonna, like Jessica suggests, I make a red and a green. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do red and green. So I'm gonna blend this, Jess, you might wanna turn off the phone because the blender is so Blending it up with the, the tamarind pieces, it came out like white like this, but I'm gonna strain it because we don't wanna waste any goodness here. And I guess I have to use the spoon to help it to go down. So we're getting all of the goodness in here and that's what you want because you don't want the water only. And we, the, richer we, the richer it is, is the better it's gonna work. And like I mentioned earlier, it's also known as a liver tamarind is known as one of the best liver cleanser 
So we want to get everything out of here. So let me strain this because it's taking time and then we'll come back and show you guys the next step. Okay guys, so I blend half of it and the other half I'm not going to blend because it becomes like very, very um, like thick and white. And remember, I want to add color to it. So I'm not going to add um, blend the other half. I'm going to use that to liquid to make it more liquidy and instead of having that whiteness and that's because of when you blend the tamarind it becomes like frothy so i'm gonna use the rest of the liquid but i will not strain um blend the other half of it i just want to show you guys because if you're trying this at home and you're using my recipe i want you know to make to explain properly what i'm doing so I got about three and a half cups of liquid and that's going to give me a good portion. It might be able to fill all those bags and have some extra. So this is the, the, the pulp or the meat of the tamarind here and we're not going to use that. So as we separate them into different th things and what I'm going to do, I'm going to add red into the one in the um, this container here. Jessica was saying to me, leave it just like that with its natural color, but you want it to be, you when you finish with it, you want it to have that nice color. So I'm gonna put a little bit at a, at a time to make sure, ooh, red right that away. That so pretty. Canada Day. Oh yeah. Happy Canada Day, Jess. Happy Canada Day, Mom. Yeah, so that's one. And you see, never mind the color it had before, it the. Once you add food coloring, it's gonna get the color you want it to be. So imagine having one of these, like a red freezy. It's gonna be nice. Oh my gosh, that'd be so So cool. let us try the green one. And I'm just gonna put one tiny drop because this one is very, very rich in color. So, and we're gonna just test it out, see? I remember when we were growing up and my grandma used to make it or we would buy it from school everybody would have their favorite color can i have a green one can i have a red one they had blue they had all different colors so, so i think cool. a little bit more because it looked like green smoothie right okay we want to have a nice rich red green so that looks nice what do you think what do you I think love them. see so just a little drop of the food coloring guys and it will uh, the little drop will come a long way so i'm gonna start folding them and i'll show you guys now how we fold them up but i feel like a kid today that i'm gonna try to have one red and one green how about you jess yeah so we have to leave them to freeze and i'm gonna use my funnel and i'm gonna start folding off the red one because i have it in the mug and the mug have this little thing tip here that is easy to pour out. So hopefully these bags are good and they're, they don't have hole because then I will be very, very sad if any falls out. I know dad did his best and it took him a long time, but we, um, we have to be careful now, right? So there it is, and we're gonna put about this much because I have to tie the bag. And those those of you who remember the bag used to have a tie on the top. I have some green coloring on my hand, I just wanna wash it out. The bag used to have a little tie on the top and you um, that's how they seal them. You can. You can seal them back again if you have a sealer or with a candle, but I don't want to put my husband through that. No, it's okay. I don't want to put him through that because he took a long, long time to get that done. But what you can help me to do that is you can just tie, tie the top for me. So he's going to help me to tie them and I'll show you guys when we finish. I'm very excited. This is not just a regular freezy or icicle made out of um, like some soda or something this is one that's very very um nicely put together look look at this oh gee that looks so cool yes just let me put it in here and then we'll show them as we go and um guys this is a big teamwork because my husband have a very big role to play here i don't think my, the part that i did of making the freezy was uh, as hard as what he did. And I'm laughing because I saw him working tirelessly to get this done. So thank you, babe, that was nice. And 
I'm gonna, and if you have leftover, guys, you can always put them in a small container or even in a Ziploc bag. But I wanted to do it the original way with the tie in the bag because that's what it really, really, um, how it really used to look back home. So the rest of it, you can always put in a container or another big Ziploc bag, or you can even um, drink it just like that because the flavor is so, so good. Jess can tell you guys, right? Mm -hmm. The flavor is so good, so rich, and I can imagine, and it have a little bit of sour taste to it, which yeah. is so, so nice on a hot summer day, and today is one of those perfect day. Hopefully, before the place get dark, you guys can have them all frozen, but by the time they're getting freeze, and I don't want the kids to get out of patience, we're gonna go to a park, and then we'll come back and by the time we finish our park it they should be ready so i'm gonna throw them in my freezer as soon as we finish here and we're gonna show you guys and let the kids taste and let you guys know um it's canada day so that's why we choose to make red ones and we unfortunately we couldn't make white ones but for sure we're gonna do some green ones and we're gonna have two different colors. So two, four. Guys, I have remainder, and these little container always come in handy for me. So I'm gonna pour like half of it in here, or maybe a little bit. Yeah, and like that, and me and my husband can have these. These ones we used to call fluty back home, remember? So now here, we have what we made and these this is how we look this is the green and this is the red and we're i'm gonna put them in my freezer now and hopefully by the time an hour and a half or so after we go for a walk in the park and come back they should be ready so guys we'll show you guys after they're frozen and ready to eat yummy so guys yesterday we made these freezies or icicle like we used to call them back home and this was um, made for us to have yesterday on Canada Day, but because we went out, um, we went to the park, the kids had ice cream, we came back, we were preparing dinner, playing game. We forgot everything about the icicle here, but um, nevertheless, I still have them. Jessica's gonna do a taste test today, and we because it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day, um, it's around that time when you need an evening refresher or an afternoon refresher. So we have the green ones and the red, and these were made with the tamarind, and um, the flavor is so good and unique. So guys, she's gonna taste and let you guys know how this tastes. I can't wait to try one because I love the taste of tamarind mixed with um, some sugar and all that I remember when I was growing up. I just love having a good nice tamarind ball with pepper and garlic in it So one day I'm gonna be making that on my channel But for now we're gonna because the weather is hot and it's so beautiful I'm trying to make refreshing things. So hope this bring back some of your memories to all my Guyanese friends who remember having this when you come out from a hot day of school or if it's a hot day at your home and your family would make it or you would buy it from the neighbor shop or something like that. I remember we used to buy them from school or my grandma used to make it when I go to her house. But guys, this brings back so, so much memory and it's fun. If You feel like if you're a kid when you're eating one of these. I'm so excited. So now, Jesse, which color would you like? I don't know, probably a uh, green. Okay, so you can take a green. I'm gonna open And it. do you wanna go outside? Yeah. Okay, so let me take her outside and then she will let you guys know how she likes it. Guys, Jessie's gonna do her test. She pick a green one and it is so nice out in the back. Jessica, she cut hers with a scissors at the top. I remember we used to bite the bottom off to get a little opening and then we will start eating from there. But Jessica, taste and let us know how okay. you like this tamarind ice to cook. Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. I, t I can still taste the tamarind and it tastes so cool. Mommy, I never knew you can make this. Yeah, Jesse, but how do you like it with the tamarind flavor? It The tamarind flavor is awesome. I like the little sourness inside yeah. and the sweet. It's so amazing. Guys, 
please try this recipe it's really good i hope you like this please subscribe turn on the notification bell comment down below what you'd like us to make next until then i'll be finishing my freezy bye for now